What's up ladies and gents, welcome back to our League of Legends Top 5 Plays. We have a wide array of clips ranging from great team play synergy to beautiful mechanics that carry a fight. Take a seat, stay a while, and enjoy this episode of our Top 5 Plays. At our number 5 play, we have Diamond on Twisted Fate in an extremely high elo game. We see the enemy team pushing in to win and they realize that it's now or never. Leona engages in the fight erupts but TF stays really far in the back using his W and Q to poke anyone he can so that his cooldowns come up frequently and he maximizes damage. After a few auto attacks and another Q he turns to kill Nocturne who dove on his AD carry and despite his flash they pick up the kill but it's a 4v2 now. He drops Ark and flashes away but Ash falls but he zonias the volley so the enemy team swaps to Caitlyn. As soon as he gets out he pulls out any card for Lich Bane into a beautiful wild cards on all three picking up the triple and then shortly after the quad off of Nidalee. The game goes on for quite some more time but after an intense 55 minute game they turn things around and take it to the nexus to win the game coming in at fourth place we have dementation playing on zach at the beginning we see him coming in the gank irelia with an elastic slingshot but the enemy shen was also there and she read elixirs to escape under the tower as the fight progresses, Riven drops really low to the tower and is forced to back off as Shen pursues. She exhausts him and tries to turn things around, but Irelia flashes in and drops her, leaving Zack in a 1v2. He straight up dukes it out, using the true damage from Red Buff to deal nice damage to Irelia, and as she runs, he cues to snag the kill and then uses unstable matter, allowing for the easy double kill off of Shen. Right after, Malzahar appears and opens with the silence as he breaks line of sight using the brush and then retreats, so he has minion advantage. All of a sudden, he turns around with a stretching strike and fights it out as the creeps turn to help and he picks himself up to heal. Right before the killing blow, Malzahar flashes away so he proceeds to the brush with caution as Malzahar retreats but turns around with full cooldowns but he doesn't expect to see a huge green blob launch from out of nowhere straight into his stretching strike to grab the early game triple on the tower. Scoring in at our number 3 spot is Trailofsky on Orianna, synergizing extremely well with her teammate for the beautiful turnaround in this play. At the beginning we see the friendly Nami get caught by Wither as she gets clobbered but gets her ultimate off. Almost immediately after we see Fiddlesticks ulting on everyone as Orianna shields him and pulls 4 members back onto the Crowstorm, obliterating the enemy team as she makes her way over to slow twitch with red buff in an amazing turnaround 3v5 ace. Coming in at second place is Robzy's on Elise with an interesting play that is beautifully executed by both Lulu and Elise. We see both enemy players at low health after they just killed the AD carry but Lulu positions herself for an easy bait and Blitzcrank goes to take the apparently easy kill but a perfect flash pulls Robzy's in on purpose as she jumps onto MF and she flashes away but with a nice repel she comes down and scoops up the kill. She turns after to finish Blitzcrank for the double after a perfect setup and a clutch flash. Imagine you go for a point blank Q for the easy kill and you get a full health Elise. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Gryfall and Vayne in a high elo game who we see heading over to the losing team fight. She pops her ultimate and tumbles, shutting down Lee Sin and then swaps to Shen before deciding to move into better position. She pushes a Mumu away and runs back, getting on Shen when she has enough space and then she tumble dodges the Triss, swapping to her and then flash dodges the bandage toss, dropping Triss and then juke tumbling the other way with barrier up as she gets on whoever she has vision on, resulting in a triple for her and double for Elise. Our bonus couple of the week is brought to you by Ray Call. Communication is always vital when competing in tournaments. Winning a match requires perfect coordination. You cannot win by yourself. Raid Call. Communication for winners. We have Min Zero U on Pantheon who manages to get four kills after ganking all three lanes in less than a minute. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed these plays and if you couldn't tell I'm a little bit sick right now so I hope it doesn't show up too much in the commentary and if it does I hope you can look past it and enjoy some of the sweet clips in this episode. I'm interested to see which is your favorite so drop a comment down below with your favorite play from this episode. Thanks again and I'll see you back here next week for episode 128 of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.